Okay, so. I had this idea. I was gonna wait until I was on like another shrooms trip. But it's like, I just got this urge right now to do it. Like right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Long story short, this is my inspiration pretty much. Um, I have the t-shirt for it. I have the markers. Um, why not do it? I don't know. Also too, um, since I'm doing my fasting, I can't eat. So I have a lot of free time. <laughs> and I haven't had this urge to like draw in a minute. So I want to use it while I can. So I'm going to do it now. And um, I don't know how I'm going to do this video. But we will see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Maybe talk a bit to chat or whatever. I don't really know. Anyways, yeah, let, let's see what happens. Hey. Hey. Okay, anyways. I don't know why I'm saying hey. I just, anyways. Um, I'm excited. Mind your business, I'm wearing my PJs, but like I said, this was a spare of the moment type of um, happening. So, so I apologize if I'm not. Anyways, I don't apologize. Okay, well, I'm gonna ramble. Um, so like I said, I wanna draw on this shirt. And so I have these markers. These like fabric markers. A long time ago I got it from Michaels, I think. And then I have these letters that I might use. I don't know, we'll see how far I get. Um and yeah, I just have more markers in the bag. So yeah. Um I don't really have an idea on where I want this to go. Or how I want this to go. But we're gonna see what happens. Um so okay. How are you guys doing? Excuse me, but how are you? How's everything with you? How are you feeling? Anything going on in life? There's always something going on, but anything going on. <laughs> um, let me just go first. But I hope you are well, needless to say. Everything's going well with you. I just dropped a full moon, super full moon journal palm like mood board video which i will link in the description so definitely check it out if you haven't and of course since you're here subscribe like comment comment how you're feeling how are you doing how's life treating you um i don't really have an idea on how i want to draw on here but I love drawing faces and eyes, so I might start out with that and see how far I get. Okay, anyways, okay. Anyways, like I was saying, kind of, I just started my detox. It's a water fasting that I'm doing. I wasn't expecting to do this. <laughs> But um, funny enough, I realized last night, actually, that I started this month with a detox. And I'm ending this month with a detox. <laughs> like, uh, for me, that's crazy because I used to not always be like this. Like, I wasn't really in tune that deeply with my body, honestly. So I'm pretty sure I've had urges before where I felt like I needed this. But I wasn't, 
at the point where I could listen and actually take note of what's going on. But yeah, I randomly got the urge one like earlier last week I think I got the urge and it was like three days water fast and I already have this feeling in my spirit that I was like I think I need to go on a detox because I I love cooking. I love cooking. I love eating. And for some reason that week where I had the realization I was not having ideas when I cooked it wasn't coming out how I wanted and then when I did eat I just barely ate like my appetite was just not there for some reason and I'm pretty sure also too I was going through a lot of internal awareness physical changes all this stuff so I'm pretty sure that has something to play in it but um yeah, back to what I was saying. I was not supposed to go on a detox, and now I'm on a detox. <laughs> and it's my first day just drinking water, and I'm not going to lie. It's not hard, but I find, I realize how much time there is in a, in a day, especially when you're not focused on what you're going to eat. <laughs> but focusing on food in general, I'm like, wow, I have a lot of free time. Like, I just started this book. I'm not going to spill the tea because you do have to check out my podcast, which I'll link in the bio. Um, where I do my book reviews. I do interviews sometimes with people. Um, so definitely check me out if that's your thing. And so I'm in preparation for another book review. And so I was reading that book earlier, a few hours ago. And I was like, dang, I don't read like at least, I think I'm on like the third chapter already. And I'm like, I have so much time. Like it's only early afternoon. Because <laughs> by now, respectfully, I will be cooking. So I can eat before six, maybe seven, honestly. But yeah, man. It feels good taking a break, I'm not gonna lie. Where I'm not like so focused on what I'm gonna eat. Am I going to eat? And then like since I'm still working on my self image and my relationship with food, you know, I'm not I'm not in that cycle where I'm like, I shouldn't be eating this or this isn't good for me or being full is bad. If you if you have those issues, you know what I'm talking about, because those are real life struggles. So, okay, as you can see, I'm obsessed with squirrels. I have it, had it, <laughs> so I am definitely, of course, wanting to draw that on my shirt. But I think this is cool. I like the person. I'm gonna change it up. I have another blue. Is it gonna is this the same blue? No, it's kinda different. I don't know if you can pick up on it, but it's kinda like lighter? Or is it just dried up? No, it's darker actually. And dried up. <laughs> um but yeah. So on this detox, detoxing from old patterns, old habits, really taking this time to center myself again and come back to me. I was all over the place, I'm not going to lie, these past few months. I mean, not months, these past few weeks. So, yeah, that's all I got. I will say the book I'm reading, I'm already obsessed with it. <laughs> it was... The start of it was better than I thought. And just how it grabs your attention is surprising. It's a financial book, but it's more spiritual than I realized. Like, just to give a little nitpick, a little sneak peek, he talks about, he calls it the other self. 
but from from how I interpret it, it looks like he was talking about his shadow self, which I was not expecting because, like, I don't know. And even in the book, he talks about, like, kind of how he was surprised how it became a spiritual um, endeavor. And it's just so interesting to me when I hear people like different perspectives on the same picture. If that makes sense, like we all are saying the same thing but differently. And I just really love, I love being able to listen to someone express something in a whole different way. And it's still me being able to understand what they're saying. Like, even though this person is not using the words or the particular words that I'm using or used to being or used to hearing, I can still understand them and like actually even understand at a more deeper level now because I have a different perspective. So I just really like that. Like, Man, that's why I really love reading. Like, I highly recommend making reading a a habit or, like, a hobby because there's so much you can learn from people, especially when, like, let's say, naturally, maybe you're an introvert, you know, like, socializing, socializing, or you have social anxiety issues and, you know, dealing with that obstacle. It's like with reading, it's kind of like an easier way to slowly get into bonding connections with people, especially outside of your comfort zone. So I highly recommend reading. I feel like that's how I became, I don't want to say a people person, but like it helped me become more like comfortable in talking to people even if it's small talk but I don't know it kind of opened that for me which I really appreciate because I used to be like I don't want to say shy but I was very insecure in the way I spoke when I spoke how I spoke um I was insecure to even like the people I would speak to and like I would always worry about how people perceive me through that conversation so I feel like conversing with books and actually taking the time to read different types of books it opened my eyes to like see how similar we are in many ways like how much we really how much we really are just one being in different perspectives in different lives oh okay y'all <laughs> I can't be seeing my feet for free now. Um, so, so yeah, so that was really what I was just thinking of. That was a random thought because I have no way to end it, but to just be like, yep, I said that. Um, yeah, man. Life is just so interesting. Like, The deeper I get into spirituality, and respectfully, I will say too, just living is spiritual. And really just saying, when I say I'm stepping into my spirituality, it really means saying, like, going deeper in my spirituality. Because just me being alive, I'm a spirit. And living is spiritual. So, it's it's just crazy how... The universe is so intelligent, like, and it's intelligent in the ways that we don't really understand it, and I don't really understand it, where the, the intentions and the intelligence is for the spirit, where we only know the flesh, like, we're intelligent with knowledge, or we're intelligent with doing this, and being, like, a lot of physical abilities and talents, that's what we see or that's where the perspective of being intelligent come from. But I feel like with the universe, it's like, it's all about the soul. Obviously, it's like all about the soul and like what it can do for your soul and spirit. And it's just crazy. 
being able to see that and witness it. Even when I'm like down in the dumps a little bit, and I'm like, damn. You know, going through the motions, but I'm glad that I can still come out of it enough to be like, okay, I might not understand what's going on, but I do know I can trust myself in the universe and that I know everything that's happening is just for me. Even if it doesn't make no dang old sense, but I just have to trust it. (laughs) So yeah that's kind of where i'm at with my spirituality honestly it's like before i would okay i'm gonna be moving a lot because i'm really just falling asleep um (laughs) i will say before like i feel like my spirituality was so I say this like I was so focused on getting to the nitty gritty of my soul and going into the deepest shadows of my spirit, which there is nothing wrong with doing that and doing the work that needs to be done. But I would consume myself in it, like I will live just for it, just for healing. I will live just to heal, and that's not honestly the most healthiest way to express life and to go through life because it's like with that mindset I realized for me is that I wouldn't allow allow a lot of things to happen because I would be so in the in the mindset of like is this going to help me heal is this going to help me heal and if it didn't logically show proof that it will then I wouldn't allow it to experience that moment but I realized that every every moment that we go through is legit somehow going to help us heal. Even if it's like a bad or good experience, it's somehow a puzzle, like a piece of the puzzle to healing. And I realized too that I'm over here trying to heal as fast as I can without realizing that truthfully, once you are fully healed and you are fully with your higher self, my personal belief is that it's time to transcend, it's time to go to the fourth, fifth dimension. And with that being said, you can't take the flesh with you because it only knows the 3D world. So it's impossible for it to even hold itself in that frequency. I don't like saying death, but in a sense, I use transcend instead of death. But it's true though, it's like you can't take what this realm you are learning in, you can't take it with you because you already. You already learned it, so there's no point of holding on to it. So now it's time to move on to the next the next step, pretty much, and whatever that is. So I had to learn that. And when I learned that, what came with that, and what I actually am grateful, really grateful that it came with, is I needed to really accept myself for who I am, no matter what, see perfection, perfection in it, and be willing to be better the next time. And also to just not take life so seriously. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with being serious about your life and the choices you make. But it shouldn't damage you as a being. Like, it shouldn't bring damage to you because you have this expectation. And I'm not going to lie, my expectations were a bit out of reach especially for points in my life where I was like, okay, I'm really not there at that moment to be expecting all this for myself. So that's when I'm like, okay, let me not take this part of my life too seriously because obviously I'm not, I can't do what is expected of me. And that is perfectly okay. Because that also doesn't mean that the next time that it happens or when I'm in a different situation that I won't be able to do that. It just means like right now in this moment, I just can't. And it's okay. <laughs> it is okay to not be able to do it sometimes. Like, it's okay to say no. It's okay to be honest and be like, I don't know. Or be in the mindset of like, okay, I might not know, but I'm willing to learn. Like, there's something wrong with being in your student era 
rather than always being in Tisha mode. And I feel like I was in that habit of like, I always wanted to be the teacher. I just wanted to teach and tell everybody what I'm learning and do all this stuff. But not allow the other person that I'm in this exchange with to give me information. Like there wasn't a clean balance between student and teacher. I was just falling around and not really knowing. Um, I want to draw. I don't know if I want to draw the face here or in the middle. I want to draw in the middle and use some red. I love red and yellow together. And pink and green. Like, I think they look good together. But yeah, so that is where I'm at right now with life. Just not taking it too seriously and being open to whatever wants to come into my life and allow it to be for what it is. Okay, this looks like a cat. <laughs> I'm trying to see it through because I'm like, I didn't like it, but I'm trying to see the beauty of it. <laughs> it looked like a cat, though, for real. Okay, let me add some red. Hopefully, make it better. It's not too bad, though. It's cool. It's all right. <laughs> Oh my god, the full moon is, the super moon is tonight, and I am excited. It looked like it's clearing up. So I hope, I really hope um, the moon is being able to come up and like shown because the last full moon, it was pouring, man. And I only got to see it for like a split second. I'm still very grateful to be able to see it because it was raining all day. Like it didn't look like. It was going to clear up any, any, it looked like it was not going to clear up. So I was grateful to have that experience. And it was absolutely beautiful. You know, it's crazy. Me having and being in Aries and pretty much with the sun and like that energy, I realized how much the older I get. And the more in tune I get with my other signs in my chart, because I have a lot of water signs, actually, I realized that I am slowly becoming a moon girl. <laughs> like, I used to never really, not care for it, but I never paid attention to it as much as I have been recently. And it's just, it's just really beautiful. Like, it's, it's an eye catcher for sure. Like, Yeah, I'd be focused on that moon now. Like, even now having like a whole um, what do you call it? A whole app about the moon cycles and what is to be expected and what to do during that time. I'm like, look at me, look at this fire sign, worrying about the moon. <laughs> that is so funny to me. Cause sometimes they're not really common with that like duo, but. Like I said, being like in a cancer moon, girl, girl, I be in it. <laughs> I be ten toes in. <laughs> okay, the the red is running out. So I'm just gonna finish the outline. And go back in with the yellow. I do have another red, but hopefully I don't have to use that shade. I don't think it'll look good with this. This is a darker shade. So. Okay, this face came out a bit better than I expected. Honestly, I don't really have much to say. 
so corner have the moon I don't know like I said I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna look slow I didn't realize how much these inks um they smear on the skin okay let's draw the moon I mean no let's draw the sun We're gonna make it a full sun. Of course, we gotta do the spiral in the middle. Try to make it a small one. And then draw the sun out. Isn't it crazy how we made up these names for what we see? Like, I was just trying to think of, like, what would I name this sun if it wasn't named sun? Or vice versa with the moon. Like, I don't even know what I would, what would I would even call it. 
if you have any ideas leave it in the comment below because i would love to hear which i which i will call your son and name but i don't even know like <laughs> what would i even say i feel like it's like you're so accustomed to just being told what to be and how to think that like when it's time to do it for ourselves it's like whoa where do i even start <laughs> like what, what do you even want me to say like imagine you know how in um in minecraft where you could like um make your own world imagine that's how it was when you came to earth it was like okay each person had their own world and like it's from blank like blank slate nothing there you got to do everything that would be crazy i mean we kind of do with our incept like our per perception and like our thoughts you know thoughts create reality like when we're kids and babies like what world is that then because we don't really have a thought or you know we're not in that mindset we're like depending on others like what is all that then oh i'm gonna draw the people <laughs> walking around the sun that's what we're doing dude walking around the sun also to i hope you're enjoying this video it's my first time doing something like this so i hope you're enjoying it as much as i am <laughs> Okay, I guess we're going this way. Okay. We gotta bring them back around the sun. Bring it back to the focal point. <laughs> oh, there's people here. Look at that. They're all together. I didn't even realize that. That's so funny. They're like blue and black. Like, that's so funny, blue and black people. Okay, there we go. If I can like finish this off here. Because I really don't want to leave empty spaces if I don't have to. Or it doesn't look good to. I feel like this, I don't want it to be blank. Okay, I think we're good there. So now we're doing the moon. I don't really know how to draw a moon. This is coming out better than I thought. I hope tomorrow when I see it again or like later on, I'll be like, you know, new fresh pair of eyes. They're always good. Okay. We're gonna do a full moon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And do like the, the little cracks that be on there? I don't even know. It looks about right. <laughs> Gotta get the point, you know? Okay. Okay, I'd be going crazy, so let me not do too much. Um, there's the moon. Grab the blue again. And that's the thing. What's, there's nothing really around the moon. Like, you know how the, the sun has the rays? Like, how would I draw rays on the moon? And then I was trying to look up ideas, but didn't really go as planned so i'm just gonna draw another circle around a circle <laughs> and draw another circle there's like a halo effect kind of i don't really know that's 
doing what I want to do. I'll add some black <laughs> to make it better. And then, yeah. Okay. The black definitely helps. A bit. I don't even know. I think it looks like a moon. Well, since I did people, I'm going to do people, but I'm going to do a red this time. Like the contrast. You know. You know, my hand is covered in ink. That's crazy. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna bring them down from here. And now they're going around the moon. There's a big happy family. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have them like go in the back. <laughs> yeah. I think that looks pretty damn cool. So I finished the top part. I'm gonna fold it and come to the like bottom part of the shirt. So what else can I do? I haven't used brown. I think that's the only color I haven't used. And I mean, I kind of used black, not really. Ooh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I actually eventually want to get this tatted on me. I'm gonna put it on the shirt. Of course, it's the spiral. If you don't know, spiral is like a perspective of how you can perceive life where there's no beginning or end. And it also has to do with like karmic cycles and all that stuff. And it like recently became, or not recently, or not too recently, but became an obsession. <laughs> that I'm like, I had to draw that, I would just draw that and that's it. Okay, this this brown is very difficult. Yeah, I wanna draw like branches. I used to try to draw my, my tree like a willow tree, like have it like sloping. Because I absolutely love willow trees. So I'm like always trying to draw it in that perspective. Okay, it looks kind of look like how I want it to look. <laughs> the artist in me is like, do I like this though? Do I do I? Not even the artist, but, um, the critic in me. Hey, it sucks how fast these markers are dry up for me. I don't really remember how long I've had them, but dang. I know they say to put alcohol, like 
Kirin. No, no, no. Is it up there? It's up there. There's something. You can put it in and it will like bring it back to life pretty much. But I don't remember what it was. It was a video and I should have saved it, but I didn't. Picking up on me. Uh huh. Okay. It's so crazy how, like, I realize when I draw how different the left and right side is. Like, there's a different perspective being shown and used. 